friends. Welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. Today we are at Measure Museum of Art and we are going to tour this little art place and check it out and see what all they have to share. This is a place that I brought my children often as they were growing up and we homeschooled. They change out the art exhibits every, um, I don't know how many months, but every so many months they change the exhibits and so I would make sure that I always brought my kids when they would change them out and to get you know some art history and do a little art unit study and learn different things about the different artists and stuff so anyway we're gonna check it out today here's something really interesting right here So this is a heron that was painted by a local artist and we have these herons all over Monroe and West Monroe, Louisiana. They're just painted and sponsored by different companies and such and they're just put at different places all around town. One day we're going to have to go on a heron hunt and see what we can find. So let's go on in. The front doors of the museum is very interesting. I always have loved these front doors so here we're in the first room and there's just art hanging on the wall sometimes they have art in the center of the room like on stands but i didn't see any of that today but i just tried to go around and you know just share with you the art now i didn't try to zoom in on all the little papers that tell about the art because my arms are weak and I just could not hold this phone up there to do that. So there's a few that I might have, you know, kind of glimpsed on. If you want to read that, you could pause it. That is Louisiana Angola painting. I thought that was very interesting. Angola is a prison in Louisiana. So anyway, um, yeah, I just couldn't zone in on those little papers because my arms were so weak and shaky and I just I just knew I couldn't do it. <laughs> so it's just art to look at. That was very textured. I love textured art. Um, and that was, you know, very odd looking, but hey, it's art. <laughs> Some art pieces, you know. Oh, I did love that piece. I thought that was very very nice piece um and then this is the little children's room where they have little children's activities and they change these activities out very often um every so many months or something they change those where it's new activities so it's something new for when the kids do go those were some towel tiles with liquid in them and you could mash the um tiles and make the liquid move around and such which was cool i played with it these were i thought they were magnet but i didn't feel a magnet in it so it must be like a felt type thing and to the side was some hanging it's big daddy peeking in this is a little kitchen area that has a restroom there off of it so the museum itself is a very old house. I'm not sure of the history of it. Now, I don't know what this piece was right here. It's like a quilt, but I don't know why it's gathered up that way, but it looked really cool. Interesting. I did try to zoom in on that, but I don't think it's really readable. And I'm sorry. I did my best. <laughs> but I thought the, the art... I thought the piece itself was very interesting and there's a quilt and I did read on that and I remember it says best of show and so I think in Ruston Louisiana they might have had a quilt show and that was in there so that piece was so interesting that I come back to it for a second time in a moment <laughs> but it is made with yarn and fabric 
And then, I'm not sure what that piece was, but, you know, I was doing my best just to hold this phone up there with my arm shaking. I don't know why that's upside down, but, you know, it's art. Everybody's art is different. Everybody's art taste is different. Now, this particular art museum, um, my son Dakota has had art displayed there before. He was in some art competitions with other artists there before. And he's he's always just loved this art museum. We all have. That piece there was like very 3D and it looked like the the pieces in it were floating. It was very interesting. Someone put a lot of work into that. I'm not sure exactly what that was, but it was very beautiful. Just lots of art to look at and see. And Big Daddy was just taking in that beautiful quilt that someone put a lot of work into. So yes, I come back to this because it's yarn and material and it just was very interesting i'm not sure <laughs> but the tag says yarn and material then we had to go up the stairs and this was in the stairwell and it was very interesting too very textured I love textured art, but let me just tell you, we almost didn't make it up the stairs, and it wasn't that much. Just a few steps, and then a landing, and a few more steps, but that was a lot for me and Big Daddy. And we were already feeling kind of bad today. <laughs> and then, um, this was upstairs, wasn't it? Yes. Oops. I didn't realize what I was even filming there until... I was like, oh, wow, wait. <laughs> but lots of interesting work. Um, there's a lot of black and white art in here, and that doesn't really film that well. I thought that was interesting. A can of soup and some Lysol and a mask. Yeah. I'm sure there's a story behind it. Just as I'm sure there's a story behind that. There are some little sitting areas. A TV. I'm not, they probably have art. Something about art history or something playing on that at times. And another little sitting area. And look, there's me. Sitting there crocheting. And just enjoying the moment, I can now say I've crocheted at Measure Museum. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I was working on my cotton t-shirt that I will tell you about towards the end of the video. I'll tell you about the pattern and what I'm doing there, but yeah, I just um, sat and crocheted for just a, for just a little bit. Not not too long, um, but I wanted to be able to say I crocheted at the art museum. So that's what I did, and Big Daddy was filming me and cracking jokes, and <laughs> thankfully we were the only people there. There was no one else there today, so that's good. We had it to ourselves, and there was only one employee there. So, it was really nice, which she just sat at the desk at the bottom, and, you know, we only saw her when we came in. It's the only time we saw her, because we left out the back door. But, yeah, it was a nice day, other than it did start raining and got really cold. And so now we're moving on to more art, another art room. This house has several, several rooms. And so I just scanned around to show okay. you um, some of the different arts.
that was displayed and I'm not really sure. That was a beautiful painting. Very beautiful and the longer you looked at it the more you saw. It's one of those kind of paintings and each of the rooms do have a fireplace as you can see. And this painting here was very beautiful and lots of glitter, sparkle or something in that, metallic paint or something, but it was very beautiful. And then this was very interesting. And sometimes you have to back up away from the art to see what the art, you know, is trying to show you. And then I guess this is when you interpret yourself. But it was some interesting things there. I'm not really sure exactly what this was either. Um, I did notice that some of the art was from like California, Florida, different places, not, not Louisiana. So it was art they got in. And that was interesting too. All of it was interesting. I love art. I love visiting art museums. That's what we've done my kids' lot, whole life. If we went out of town somewhere, we hunted down an art museum and a zoo. And that's what we would do on vacation or doctor visits out of town, anything like that. We would always go to an art museum to get some art appreciation. And now coming out of that room, um, I don't know. The next, I, I just barely looked at that and saw what it was and went off. Um, it wasn't anything I'd want to share and or even talk about. But uh, that was such a good painting. Somebody did so wonderful on there in that skin tone. They did a great job painting that. And then this is just a little western photo. And swinging on around just trying to get each one just to show um you know the different art wonderful art let's see where was this room at oh yeah okay um it was just some different kind of art in there some that i really didn't expect and didn't know what to even think of it but you know art's art that was cool i'm sure there is a story behind that but i do not know it but it was a really cool painting and that was cool too and this one is made up of little bitty tiny tiles so I zoomed in so you can see that and then zoomed out so you can see the overall photo. It's kind of like pointillism, but it was squares actually instead of dots. And then these were just some interesting paintings. You know, someone put their heart and soul into them and they're um, great, great art pieces. I don't even, sorry, excuse me, I'm so sorry. I don't even know what to say about some of the art pieces, but, um, you know, everybody has their own style. Sometimes they have lots of things hanging from the ceiling over that little area, and that really looks cool, but, um, Big Daddy had beat me in there already and was taking a seat, <laughs> resting, because he was kind of feeling really weak. So I don't know what's up with these art, this art. It might have came from all the same artists or a group that did the same, probably the same artist. Now see, you can see words in that. So I'm sure somebody has wrote their story or something very meaningful to them into their art and i will tell you about a piece that i did and show you a picture of it later in the video now this is overlooking washita river 
so I wanted to give y'all a peek at the river there. The wind was blowing. The, it was getting ready to rain right then. It had rained a little bit and stopped, and then the wind was just blowing in more rain. But that's the Washita River, and I was not about to go down and go up those steps because I would have made it. <laughs> y'all would have seen the camera just go flying over because I would have fell. <laughs> And that's a levee that goes around that road. There's some more art. And it had words written into that also. Several of these paintings did have words. Lots of words on the canvas. So I'm sure that's someone's story. And I noticed that you, these all used like the same colors. So now we need to go in that little hallway over there where it says exit and go down some very steep stairs. Yeah, I sat here for a little bit. We just watched out over the Washita River, um, watched the wind, was watching to see if any boats came down the river, but we didn't see any boats. But So I crocheted a moment while we were waiting to see if a boat would come down the river. So I got my project out and crocheted a little more amongst the art. I was doing my fiber art in the art museum. <laughs> and the, the I noticed that um, if that's what my sweater's looking like. I was having trouble getting it all straight, but that's what it's looking like. <laughs> And I noticed that the wrapper came off of my Karen cake. And so I wanted to put that back on there so that thing didn't fall apart. That would have been a tangled, end up being a tangled up mess. But that's my Karen cake I'm using. And my finger crochet hook. Then we went downstairs to see what was down there. And just took a little bit more footage of the last few pieces of art that were hanging down there. This is a revolutionary exhibit. Yeah, there's those stairs, but I wasn't going to go out there and try them. Lots of interesting pieces. And then we went down, um, went on out the door to outside. And so this next little house is called the carriage house. And in that house, um, my kids have taken art classes in the summertime or like art camps and stuff. It's a very neat little house. It's just full of art supplies and a lot of fun. Elijah and I have been taking classes in there and there is a tunnel under that house that goes to the big house. So that was our little tour of the art museum. And we were just ready to go, to be honest, at that moment. You can see there, there's a levee that circles around the art museum, that big green grassy hill, that's a levee. And it does run along this, uh, the whole side of that road, which is South Grand. Mm -hmm. That levee runs across there. So now we are, I don't know why, we went across the bridge, one bridge, and now we're going back across another bridge, back to Monroe. We just drove to West Monroe just to go back to West Monroe because once we got to West Monroe, we decided there wasn't anywhere we needed to go there. So we crossed back over the bridge, and the Washita River is really high at the moment. Lots and lots of water. Hey friends, so we made it home from the art museum and our little errands that we had to run. And Phoebe insisted that I hold her for a moment. But um, we had a good day, but we were both feeling pretty bad today. Um... 
and the little art I mean our art museum is small but it wore us out there are some steps and stairs different places and so um, it was all we could do to do those <laughs> oh baby but um they the display that they had today I think it just started actually yesterday was the first day of it and I thought it was a little sparse on the art usually there's a seems to seems that there's usually a lot more art in there but anyway it was nice just to see and just see what they had going on um towards the end there i mentioned that there's a painting with some words written out written into the painting itself and um i didn't read or couldn't read everything that it said but anyway i wanted to share with you a painting that i did back when I was still doing art. It was after I lost my second finger. I had lost this finger and then I lost this finger over here and I painted a Louisiana yard bird painting. Um, I didn't know what I was painting at first. I started off just with a canvas and I wrote my story out on this canvas. And it's just telling what happened, you know, to my fingers and how it came about and all that kind of stuff. And then I just started painting over it. And I ended up painting a chicken. And then I ended up putting some stamps at the top and just made it look like a postcard. And so I'm going to share that photo here with you guys so you all can see my Louisiana yard bird painting with my story. You can't read the story because it's behind the painting, but you can see that there is words there. And so um, I know what it says, you know. <laughs> oh. But anyway, um, then Big Daddy and I went to, where we go? We went to Piccadilly and I got um, mashed potatoes and carrot souffle. And he got, I think, chopped steak and onions. Um, that catfish sure did look good. And I paused at it. I wanted it so bad. <laughs> um, but anyway, then we went to um, the little Walmart market and picked up a few groceries. I tell you what, we were we were just wore out, and it was raining, and it turned off cold, so we were ready to come home. Oh, I did have him. He said, "Anywhere else you need to go?" I said, "Would you mind stopping at Michael's and let me run in and grab something that I I knew they had that was on Easter clearance?" And so he did, and I run in there and got the item that I wanted. Where are you going, baby? <laughs> I got the item that I wanted because I knew they had it. Um, I thought it was going to be 60% off, but it was 70% off. So I didn't have to pay hardly anything for that item that I wanted. And um, then I, we came on home. We came home and we got the groceries in and put them up. And Big Daddy's back there. He had to go get his shoes off and just sitting there relaxing and I'm in here putting this video together for you guys. But it was a fun day because I was with my honey. And I hope he enjoyed the day too. Although I know he felt bad. But I, again, I took pain medicine before we went. <laughs> it's not my fault he don't take the pain medicine. <laughs> but, um, but at the museum there was steps and stairs. And yeah, we were having a hard time. <laughs> I was wore out. Like I was shaking. My legs were shaking. By the time we got back in the truck because um it was just a lot of i don't know what she wants <laughs> what do you want baby what do you want huh what she want sport little girl oh oh i have to go get it i told her that i bought her a toy and she's wanting me to give her that toy i bet is that what you want your new toy i got you a toy yeah I know. She loves toys. Oh my gosh, she loves her toys. Is that what you want? Your toy? <laughs> I had to think for a minute, and then I was like, she wants something, but she's got food there. She's got water. 
and she just came from outside, so I told her I bought her a toy. <laughs> Hop down, I'll get your toy in just a minute, okay? Anyway, guys, I hope you all have been having a great day. I am still working on my, I just got it out of the bag. This is what I'm going to work on tonight. I'm in, like, I'm working on this t-shirt, um, spring fling cotton t-shirt. <laughs> this pattern is by Summer at Summer's, no, it is not by Summer. <laughs> I don't know, because it's a spring fling that's why I keep saying summer. This pattern is by Jennifer at Cinnamon Stitches. So sorry, Jennifer and Summer. I'm sorry. Like, they don't even look alike. So I don't know why I would even mess that up. Other than this is supposed to be a summer t-shirt. And that's why. But anyway, that's still not right. This is right. So I've got my sides connected. And I am crocheting that. And it's turning out good. It feels really good. Um, like I did have two of these in my stash over there. And it just worked out perfect that I had two of these. And then I went in there. I knew we were going somewhere today. And this morning I kept trying it on. And Big Daddy was helping me check the size and everything on it. You know, so I could get... Um, the right amount of chains over here because I don't want to increase anymore. I just want to crochet straight down for it. Okay, so I was working on this and, you know, trying it on and he was helping me measure it all. And I was like, okay, I need a color to trim out the neck, do the sleeves, and possibly put some at the bottom. And he said gray. And I was like, well problem is this is cotton and I don't know that I have gray cotton and then I thought I think I do and so I came in here to my cake shelf and dug around in it way back long ago they had these on sale for three dollars I think it says 337 maybe my eyes are so bad today Three ninety-seven, um, and this is a gray, and it's called Silver Cloud, which goes perfect with the muted rainbow. So that is what is really a gray. It's I don't know what color you're seeing, but it's a silvery gray, I guess. But it's a light gray. So that's what color I'm gonna do my sleeves and all that with. And so, yeah, I'm very pleased with this. I've never done a pattern. Um, top shirt like this. Now, I've done lots of baby sweaters, uh, shirts, dresses, um, toddler size clothes on down. Um, and I've never put anything together quite like this, but it's working out. I, I was beginning to have my doubts at one point, Jennifer. <laughs> I was just like, um, I don't know if this is going to fit my bust. Because um, I think Jennifer wears her shirts a little tighter on her bust than I do. And I was just like, I don't think that's going to fit my bust. And I was like, okay, if it don't, I'm just going to find somebody that it does fit. I was thinking it would probably fit my great niece Hannah. if, um, But it might be too big for her. But anyway, I was thinking her or my niece if it didn't you know if it didn't work out but it's working out i've tried it on and um i don't know we got we got it done i just need to crochet straight down and then come back and do the arms like we'll start i'll start crocheting down here to close this up and just leave the arm hole and so yeah I'm very pleased with it. I love how it's turning out. And I'm already thinking, I want to make another one. Because this cotton does feel really good. Um, it really does feel good. And I don't have any more of these cotton cakes. I have a lot of kitchen cotton. And I don't know that that would feel the same, right? Because that's more kitchen cotton and not really a wearable cotton, right? Am I right? <laughs> 
<laughs> somebody tell me have you made wearables with the like sugars and cream peaches and cream um hobby lobbies cotton little bitty balls you can get crafter's choice cotton you know somebody tell me have you ever made wearables with those or not but anyway i'm i'm liking how this feels so much really so much and this could be made for with acrylic for winter time I was just happy to be making something that I can wear this summer because um, my even though it did turn off cold today with that rain it's 60 degrees but with that cold rain it really just feels super cold just a minute baby I'll get your toy and so yeah anyway I had I'd made that granny pullover and then it started getting too warm to wear that I could have wore it today like, I always think, I could have got one last wear out of that every time it, we have a little cold spell. But, I'm fixing to be able to wear this. And I will be wearing this with, like, a um, tank top under it. So, yeah. I'm excited about it. And I like how it looks. Y'all like that? So, I will link Cinnamon's um, YouTube and the um tutorial for this shirt in the description box below let's see is there anything else i want to tell you guys um i don't think so i just appreciate you all coming along with us today and hanging out and we will see you again tomorrow will be um crochet and chat and i'll see you then bye friends baby your mommy get your toy let me get your toy just a minute. You want your toy? Here you go. Oh my goodness. Phoebe got a new toy. Oh, can I have it? Is it mine? Is that my toy? Is that my toy? Is that my toy? Oh. <laughs> They had that at Michael's on 70% off, so I don't know how much it was. Probably a dollar or so. But I knew she would like it. She loves um, her toys. Can I have a toy? Can I have a toy? <laughs> oh, Phoebe. You love it? You love your new toy? I have to put her food up here cause, so the cats don't get her food. And the cat's food's on the piano, so she don't get their food. <laughs> this is Phoebe's um, puppy bed. That's where she sleeps and hangs out and all. And see, I cut the side. It's a laundry basket I got at Walmart one time. And I just cut the side there where she can go in and out. And that's her bed. Oh, you love your toy? You love your toy, baby? Can I have it? Huh? Can I have your toy? Is it good? Is it a good toy? Is it a good toy? You love it? <laughs> Bye, y'all.